Hello everyone, welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is Delhi approves cloud seeding trial. This topic relates to environment and ecology section of the UPSC CSE syllabus. The Delhi cabinet approved a proposal to conduct five cloud seeding trials aimed at improving air quality and managing pollution in the capital. The project will be overseen by IIT Kanpur. It will involve an investment of 3 crore 21 lakh rupees with 2 crore 75 lakh rupees allocated for the trials and 66 lakh rupees for equipment calibration and logistics. The trials are a part of the city's broader strategy to tackle chronic air pollution and prepare for peak pollution periods. Before moving further, an important announcement. The offline batch of the IASGS Foundation course, prelims plus mains, has started at Drishti IAS, Noida. Admissions are now open for both the English medium and Hindi medium batches. For more details, contact 8750187501. Now let's discuss about cloud seeding. It is the process of artificially generating rain by implanting clouds with particles such as silver iodide crystals. Cloud seeding uses planes to spray clouds with chemicals to condense smaller particles into larger rain droplets. Cloud seeding is done to enhance winter snowfall and increase mountain snowpack, which can supplement the natural water supply for communities in the surrounding area. Now moving on to details about types of cloud seeding. 1. Static cloud seeding. This method involves introducing ice nuclei such as silver iodide or dry ice, into cold clouds that have supercooled liquid water droplets. The ice nuclei can trigger the formation of ice crystals or snowflakes, which can grow at the expense of the liquid droplets and fall as precipitation. 2. Dynamic cloud seeding. Dynamic cloud seeding is a method of inducing rain by boosting vertical air currents. The process is considered more complex than static cloud seeding, because it depends on a sequence of events working properly. 3. Hygroscopic cloud seeding. This method involves spraying fine particles of hygroscopic materials, such as salts, through flares, or explosives into the base of warm clouds. The particles can act as cloud condensation nuclei and increase the number and size of the cloud droplets, which can enhance the reflectivity and stability of the clouds. Now is the time for practice question. Which of the following methods of cloud seeding involves boosting vertical air currents to induce rain? One, static cloud seeding. Second, dynamic cloud seeding. Third, hygroscopic cloud seeding. Four, none of the above. Options A, two only. B, one and three. C, one only. D, three only. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.